Python tutorial. In this video, I will discuss how to write a Python program to generate first n Fibonacci numbers. So first we will see uh, what is Fibonacci series. The Fibonacci series contains uh, the numbers like this. I, the first number is 0, second number is 1. The next number, that is the third number, is the addition of uh, previous two numbers, that is 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. The next number 2 is the addition of uh, previous two numbers, that is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. The 3 is the addition of these two, that is 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. 5 is the addition of uh, 2 plus 3 and so on. So if you want to generate any uh, number in the Fibonacci series, we need to take uh, the addition of uh, previous two numbers. And the first two numbers are fixed, that is 0 and 1. So what we need to do here is, uh, uh, we will read the number of terms needed in the, that uh, Fibonacci series, that is n. So n is equal to, I will ask user to enter the input using input uh, function, that is enter the number of uh, terms needed in Fibonacci series. So for example, he may enter 10. The meaning of this one is he want uh, first 10 uh, Fibonacci numbers and so on. So that is what uh, the meaning of this particular line. Now uh, we need to take uh, two, uh, as I said earlier, the first two Fibonacci numbers are fixed. That is F1, comma F2, which is equivalent to uh, 0, comma 1. So this is the multiple uh, variable can be assigned on the single line. So this is how actually we can do it on uh, in Python. So F1 is 0 in this case and F2 is equal to 1 in this case. Next, what I need to do here is I need to check uh, uh, how many number of uh, uh, the terms the user is expecting. For example, if you can say that uh, n is equal to, uh, you can say 1. So what happens in that case? We need to print, uh, I can say f1, that's it, f1 is the only number, okay. Else, what I supposed to do, else if n is equal to 2. For example, he wants the first two Fibonacci numbers. We need to print, print. We can say that f1, comma, within single space I will leave, and then f2. Okay, so this is how actually uh, we can print f1 and f2. Now two Fibonacci numbers are printed. Else, it is not 1, it is not 2, it is more than uh, 2 in that case. So what I need to do here is, uh, within else loop, uh, else block, I need to take one uh, for loop starting uh, for i in a range starting from 2 till the uh, number of terms for it, that is n. If I just write n here, so what happens in this case is uh, starting from 2 because uh, the first number is printed, third, second number is printed, so I should start from 3 not uh, from uh, 2. So third number onwards, if I just write uh, n here, for example, if n is equal to 10, it will generate all the numbers starting from 3 to 9. So 3 to 9 means uh, we got uh, only what we can say that uh, uh, 3 to 9 is 7, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 7 numbers we got. So 10th number is also needed for us. So including 10 we need, so we will take uh, plus 1 here. And one more thing what I need to do is, uh, whenever it is, uh, uh, you can say that uh, uh, more than uh, 2 is there, so first I need to print f1 and f2, as simple as that, because uh, these two are uh, uh, the numbers, and then I need to put uh, end is equal to, uh, you can say that single quote, it means that I am not interested in a new line, uh, the next number should be printed here itself, okay, now uh, I need to calculate uh, uh, the next number, let us say that uh, this is f1 now, this is f2, I want to calculate f3, how can we calculate the f3? f3 is equal to f1 plus f2 that is as simple as that so f3 is equal to f1 plus f2 so f1 is what 0 f2 is 1 1 plus uh, 0 plus 1 is 1 so that's perfectly fine now i need to shift f2 to this place and then f1 to this place so for that reason what i do here is sorry uh -huh, okay N next iteration this will become uh, f2 and this will become uh, you can say that uh, uh, f1 here and then we need to add these two things so that we can calculate this f3 okay so first i will print this number that is f3 again i will use end is equal to uh, 
space just to make sure that uh, print will not add a new line it is just add one uh, now what i do is i will shift my f1 to this place and f2 to this place so how can i do that part of thing f1 is equal to f2 i will set this one f1 is equal to f2 it's as simple as that so now what happens f1 is equal to 1 now f2 f2 is right now it is 1 now it will be shifted to this place that is f3 okay and then uh, it will go back here and then generate the next number that is uh, 4 it will display the 4th number, 5th number, 6th number, 7th number till 10th number it will be displayed here so if you just look at this particular output uh, I think I need first 10 Fibonacci numbers you will be able to get something like that is the output okay uh, I think we have made a small mistake that is 0 I will do one thing, I will remove this particular space it is not necessary I just add something like this I think it will be printed perfectly fine uh, before that for example I want only I enter 1 it will display just 0 if I enter I can say that 2 it will enter 0 and 0 I have made a small mistake again it should not be F1 here it should be F2 and this is not necessary I will remove it out so if I enter 2 it will work perfectly fine and if I enter 3 0 0 1 1 if I enter you can say that 4 0 1 1 2 and so on so it will definitely uh, display you if I enter 100 it will display you the first uh, 100 Fibonacci numbers so this is what the output in this case so uh, this is how actually we can write a simple python program uh, to display all the uh, Fibonacci numbers uh, or you can say first uh, ten, uh, n Fibonacci numbers uh, I hope this particular program is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.